Welcome back to part four of our on shape robot tutorial. This time we'll be looking at designing the feet or the legs. So just like we've done before, we're gonna start by creating a new document. So I'm gonna click the create button up in the top left. I'm gonna click document. I'm, I'm gonna call it foot this time. So these are gonna be the feet and the legs all together as one part. So we just type in the name of our document and then we we'll press okay. Now like every other thing we've done so far on this tutorial, we will be starting with a sketch. So as the web page loads up, depending on your internet speed. There we go, loading the workspace. So like I just said, we are going to start with that sketch. So we click sketch from the top there. I'm going to click the pencil to rename the sketch and I'm going to call it foot. Again, this is important, so when we come back, if we need to make any changes, we know what parts need to be changed. You're not just looking at a whole list of things. And I'm going to click the front plane. And what I'm going to draw on that front plane is a semicircle. So this is going to form the base of the foot. So to do that, I'm going to click on the center circle. Click once to start drawing in the center again to finish I'm going to resize that down to six millimeters and then I'm going to draw a line straight across the bottom so when I use the pair of scissors tool I'll be able to cut the line down and make it into a semicircle so we can zoom in with the scroll wheel if you need to the escape button stops the line being drawn so you can see how I've drawn that line through. I don't need to resize it. I'm not quite sure why I clicked on dimension there, but I'm just scrolling in. It's probably because I'm looking for the pair of scissors tool. So we go across to the pair of scissors and then just click on the parts we wish to delete. So they disappear. So we end up with a semicircle. Once we've got that semicircle, we can click on isometric to view it in that, that angle. And then we can press the green tick to say that we're happy. And then we're gonna click extrude. Make sure we've selected foot for the purpose of the extrude. I'm gonna change the dimensions down to, I think it's three. So it's the same thickness as the holes you've been making. And where it says blind, we're gonna change that to symmetric. So it's going in both directions and then we can press the tick. So we've made the base of our foot. Um, I'm going to come back to this foot a bit later on, later on in the tutorial. We're going to use the fillet tool to round the front and the back. If it doesn't do anything, remember to type in a smaller number. So currently it's set to five. I think we're going to take this down to one and hopefully that will work. If it doesn't, there we go. So it's down to one. Press the green tick to say we're happy. And now what I need to do is add the leg so I need to put a leg coming up out of it so sketch click on the top plane again we can see the sketch is there rename it if you wish I do recommend this so I'm going to call it leg so we click on the top surface so the thing spins around so we can see above and then we're going to click on our circle tool and I'm gonna click into the center and then move it so it snaps to the edge. That's gonna give me my three millimeter diameter. Press the tick to say that I'm happy and we'll extrude it up to 20. Now, when I did the extrude here and I made sure I selected the leg, I suddenly realized that my foot looked a bit small and that I needed to do something about it. So to fix that, we just went back into the work we've been doing on the foot and I'm just going to create another sketch on the right plane I'm going to call it foot 2 and I'm just going to make it a bit thicker and a bit wider so we're going to click on the right I'm going to do exactly the same as I did before make sure you um, activate or edit if you've clicked the tick too quickly like I did click the circle I'm going to resize the circle to 10 I have to try first, but I think eight's a better number. So we're just gonna make it a little bit smaller and make it down to eight. So 
so eight millimeters there. We then draw the line across, so it's exactly the same technique as we used to draw that first part of the foot. Escape to cancel drawing. We're going to then trim the lines down using the scissor tool at the top there. So cut one, cut the other part. When I'm happy, view it in isometric. Tick that, click extrude, click symmetric, and we're going to set the distance there to eight. So we'll keep it the same. So eight's a bit too big because it's done eight on each side, so I want to do it to four. I'm happy with that. I like the little bit sticking out there. And then all I'm going to do to finish is to delete that fillet because I'm not sure where it came from. But I'm going to fillet this edge and the other edge. And I'm going to put them both in at one. So 52 just seems wrong. So I want to put them in at two. Didn't quite work at two, so we tried one. Didn't want to seem to work for some reason. I think I'd selected the bottom of the thing again. So we just tried it again. Click on the surface. I changed it to one straight away. I could see it was working. Changed the other side to one. Press the tick. And that's the leg drawn. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.